You are listening to KYNT, your home team and home for Lancer Locker Coaches Show. It's time to sit with the coaches and discuss the season to this point, the upcoming schedule, and any storylines that you want to know. Now let's go live to the studio with your host, Tell Tanner. KYNT, 102.1 FM, AM, 1450. We're back for another edition of the Lancer Locker, and I have a very special guest in the studio this week, <laughs> Mr. Scott Cooster, the old host of this show. How you doing, Scott? <laughs> Hello there, Tell. It's great to be back at KYNT. <laughs> it's good to have you back. I got the number one cribbage player in the world <laughs> sitting right next to me. This is amazing. I'm very happy to see you again, Scott. Tell me about your travels. Well, uh, since I retired the 1st of July, I have been uh, cruising around around the country playing in cribbage tournaments and have had fairly good success. So with those, you get what they call master rating points. And I've got enough rating points uh, over this time uh, to move back into the number one spot in the national rankings for the first time in 31 years. That's amazing, Scott. Congratulations. That is Thanks. really cool. <laughs> it has been fun. I have traveled. All these travels tell have been by my vehicle. Yeah. Right around 30,000 miles in less than six months and played cribbage tournaments, I believe, in 18 states since then. So it's, it's been fun literally from coast to coast. That's that's a lot of fun. <laughs> I wanted to talk about some of your travels, especially with the Lancers. You were the longtime voice of the Mount Marty University Lancers and Mount Marty College back when you were doing it. And then I want to talk about the holiday travels that yeah. you did with all of these long road trips with these teams. Tell me about some of them. Well, I know. And you're going to have fun talking with uh, Coach Todd Schlimgen here uh, in just a few minutes. Absolutely. But uh, some very memorable uh, cribbage, uh, excuse excuse me, very memorable basketball trips, but we also played some cribbage because Todd Schlimgen is a pretty good cribbage player. I didn't even know You will that. have to ask him maybe slightly about that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun, and I think of the first cribbage, uh, for, think of the first trip uh, for basketball broadcasting with Mount Marty, and these were all in December uh, to Orlando, Florida. Oh, wow. Took a trip to Las Vegas, Nevada, took a trip to Phoenix, Arizona with the Mount Marty men's team, uh, took an additional trip to just outside of Los Angeles, California, and of course, the best of all was five days in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, man, that is <laughs> that is really cool. Now, how about celebrating New Year's Eve in Honolulu? Oh, that would be oh, that would be a New Year's to remember. Yeah, that was and, fun. So I want to I want to talk to you about you were obviously the voice of the Lancers for a long time. I want to talk to you about some of the career highlights for you, some of the wow. best things that you saw, games you called, and relationships you made. Well, the best part is the relationships. Absolutely. I mean, when you talked just uh, starting with Kevin Lean and people like that, and we're talking. Talking Mount Marty Hall of Famers, obviously all the years with coach and then athletic director Chuck Iverson right. and all those teams uh, uh, for Mount Marty with Bob Wilbur for the Mount Marty men. And then uh, more recently, um, you know, some of the uh, really nice uh, records that the Lancer men have had in the past few years. And then uh, the great years with coach Tom Schlemgen. With, assisted by Todd, right? Uh, and uh, but if you were ask me, one most memorable event would have had to been uh, six years ago when the Mount Marty women reached the national Fab Four, which is the top four in the nation. They yeah. had a great season. Went to the national tournament in Sioux City at the Tyson Event Center. Won three games and made it to the semifinals. Uh, the Fab Four is what they call it because the Final Four uh, is uh, already a trademark for the NCAA. But yes, yes, yeah. Yes. So, so that was fun, obviously, to be able to go to a national tournament like that. And yeah, a lot of great games, a lot of fun for Lancer women and men all along the way. Yeah, that women's tournament was absolutely yeah. incredible. I'm sure. I want to talk to you about a very recent memory for the men's team making their first ever GPAC championship right as the year you're retiring. I think that was kind of written, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it was fantastic, and they barely made it into the playoffs. Yeah. You might remember. The so seed. they were eighth seed, went to number one Morningside, got a great win there, which was amazing, big upset, then went to the Corn Palace and defeated Dakota Wesley in maybe the most memorable game, double overtime, and then had a real close game and just a rough stretch in losing to Northwestern. So, yeah, 
uh, that was, what, uh, eight, eight, nine months ago. Yeah. So just not that uh, long ago, Tal, brings back some great memories. Absolutely. You then retired, kind of took, <laughs> gave me the reins for Mount Marty Athletics. Yeah. I really appreciate some of the lessons that you taught me along the way as well. Well, and Tal, I have including in these travels across the nation when I've been able to, caught you a little bit on the broadcast, and you're doing a nice job, and uh, uh, you're, you're seeing a lot of different locations. Yeah. <laughs> Not just the simple arena, uh, but, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you're doing a really good job, and good luck to uh, the Lancer men and Lancer women the rest of the way. So just because they've had kind of a rough start, you never know what can happen when you get into January, February, and hopefully even into March. Oh, yeah. That'll be a whole lot of fun if they get hot at the right time. Scott, I got one more question for you. What's up next for Scott Cooster? Are you going back on the road? <laughs> well, after New Year's, I'm going to go on the road. And how about this? Here's my first four cribbage tournaments when we get to January. Yuma, Arizona, San Diego, California, Las Vegas, Nevada, Phoenix, Arizona. You want to tag along? <laughs> I would love to. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'd Especially love to Especially in January and February. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. Get out of the cold, man. That's awesome. You bet. Thank you very much for joining me today, Scott. This was fun. Thanks a lot, Tell. Good luck. Go Lancers. Go Lancers, absolutely. We're going to be talking to a couple of coaches from the Mount Marty Lancers, both Coach Schlimgen and Coach Othier, just a little bit later in the show. Thank you very much for joining me today, Scott. Thanks. This is the Lancer Locker on KYNT. Aztec is offering a $1,000 sign-on bonus for day and weekend production shifts and $2,000 for evening shift with immediate benefits and relocation assistance. Walk-in interviews are available for assembler, CNC machinist, buyer, equipment operator, equipment inside sales coordinator, machine operator, material handler, painter, quality assurance inspector, team leader for parts and shipping, and welder, regular, or flux core. Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Click on careers at AztecIndustries.com or stop by for an interview. Do you go through every day dealing with pain? Does chronic or acute pain affect the decisions you make and the quality of your life? It doesn't have to. It's time to visit the experts. Whether you're suffering from neck and back pain, work-related injuries, headaches, fibromyalgia, joint pain, or any other type of debilitating discomfort, Avera Medical Group Pain Management Clinic Yankton can offer you relief. They listen, they care, and they can help. That's Avera Medical Group Pain Management Clinic Yankton at 605-655-1220. Live better. Live balanced. Avera. Mount Marty coverage on KYNT and KYNTV, courtesy of Michelob Ultra. The holidays are over and it's time for a new year. The year you vow to finally lose those extra pounds. Healthier food choices, more exercise, and Michelob Ultra. With just 95 calories and 2.6 grams of carbs, you can enjoy the crisp, refreshing taste of Mick Ultra without compromising a healthier lifestyle. Live fit, live fun, live ultra. Get some at your favorite place to buy beer. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. CoreTrust helps your business thrive with checking, online bill pay, small business loans, credit card processing, local approval and support for government grants and loans, investments to grow your hard-earned assets, and insurance to protect them. All from CoreTrust, the community bank that's right down the street and everywhere you want us to be. Visit CoreTrustBank.com today. Member FDIC. Explore Credit Unions with Explorers Credit Union. I've heard that Explorers Credit Union can now serve more members. What exactly is a member? You become a member owner when you start your share savings account with a $10 minimum deposit. Can anyone join? You can if you live, work, worship, volunteer, or attend school in any of our 30 counties. Immediate family can join too. Is it easy to become an Explorer? You bet. Simply apply online at ExplorersCU.com or stop by any of our branches. Discover the difference at Explorers Credit Union. Where can we take you? Locally owned businesses help build strong communities, and that's true with Triple Time Rudy's. You get a locally owned business that offers fuel discounts for Yankton's largest employers, supports local schools and events, and carries quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and Kaler Locker Meats that customers love. Triple Time Rudy's is conveniently located at 17th and Broadway for your daily fill-ups and convenience needs. So pull in to Triple Time Rudy's today. Have you been hesitant to sell your house? It can be a hassle. Cleaning for showings, waiting for the right offer, hoping it will sell. Well, with low inventory in the local market, that can mean fewer days on the market, multiple offers, and less of a hassle for you. I'm Mason Schramm with Vision Real Estate. 
Take advantage of the local housing market and low interest rates and make the move with Mason. Contact me at movewithmason.com. Back on the Lancer Locker, now joined by the head coach of the Mount Marty Women's Basketball Program, Coach Todd Schlimgen. How you doing today? Fantastic, Tell. You know, I, I'm here in Crocs and no coat, which tells you a couple <laughs> things. One, I'm not very smart. And two, the weather's pretty nice for December 26th. Hey, man, 7th, you, just, whatever day. you just got back from Arizona. Like, it's allowed. <laughs> it's right. allowed. That's right. You had a pretty successful trip, I would say. A good win over Park uh, University in Gilbert, 65-63. Ended up taking a loss to Arizona Christian, 67-44. But those trips, they have always got to be just so much fun. And you do it every holiday season, pretty much. Tell me about it. Them. Yeah, we, we've in the past, we've tried to fly somewhere every other season, you know, with COVID that kind of bumped us off schedule a little bit. So it'd been three years. So uh, it was good for us to get down there. You know, it's, it's always fun. We took everybody in our program. So all the student coaches, everybody win our JV one against Arizona Christian on a buzzer beater, made a shot with 1.8 seconds left to get the win. So that was exciting. Um, you know, and our varsity got a nice win. So uh, kind of different for me anyways, we did some Airbnb houses instead of hotels. And I got to go back and kind of redo the math and see if we did save money or not. But, you know, I think that saved us a little bit of money and, you know, it's just nice to go somewhere where you can see some sun and not see some snow and, and, and face different opponents, to be honest. You know, some of that's nice sometimes, too, to go out there and just kind of clear your head and refresh your head and just go play basketball. <clears throat> Absolutely. I want to talk to you on these long road trips. The team camaraderie has got to be a big bonding experience for everybody involved in the program. Tell me about that. Yeah. You know, I thought we did some really neat things. You know, we, we hiked Camelback Mountain. Coach Ooh. Marissa was kind of in charge of that. So that wasn't mandatory, but a lot of the kids went and did that. And, and Lyle and Katie and I. I made it uh, probably a third, a fourth of the way up, not very far. It's uh, it's tough hiking with a baby strap to your chest, right. but we did find a, a really neat place to stop and take some pictures right as sunrise was coming. So so that part was really fun. Uh, thanks to some support and donors, we did take our kids to medieval times, which is something I was really looking forward to. That was really exciting. I think some of the kids maybe thought going in it was going to be a little dorky and cheesy, which maybe it was, but I think our kids had a fantastic time with that. Our, our blue knight did it didn't win the tournament. So that was a little disappointing, but I think that was a great experience as well. So, you know, like I said, the two houses was, was nice having kind of everybody in the same places. Uh, so yeah, I think all in all is a really successful trip. I think I would have loved that medieval thing. I'm, I think that would have been really cool. It, it was really fun. The food was better than I anticipated. You know, oh. there's probably, I don't know, I'm bad at guessing. There's probably two to 300 people in there, you know, oh, wow. and they feed everybody at the same time and you have to eat with your hands. Of course, uh. medieval times, no utensils. So uh, it, it was fun. I was glad we went. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. I want to talk to you about your personal holiday as well. Tell me what you guys did for Christmas. Yeah, so mom and dad still live in Scotland. So we went to Scotland, had a bunch of my sisters there. Not all of them. I have five sisters. We had three three of our sisters were there. So I hung out there on the 24th and 25th with Katie and Lyle. And, and Katie's mom, Polly, is in town right now. Drove up from San Antonio to hang out. So that's been really fun. And then, uh, so we were in Scotland the 24th and 25th. We drove back to Yankton the night of the 25th and did supper with Katie's uh, grandpa and aunt here in town and and yesterday kind of went and hung out and went to El Tapatio uh, and this morning just doing some post Christmas cleaning the, the best part that everybody likes so <laughs> you know it was really fun uh, you know family time is something that's really important to us and, and really dear to everybody so it was really good to to kind of see that and unwind and relax a little bit and before you know kind of get back to work in air quotes here with practice tonight speaking of family time we had a member of our KYNT family in the studio just a little bit ago I got to talk to Scott Kustra and that was just awesome I love that guy I miss him I know you've known him for a long time as well tell me yeah. about that relationship yeah when I saw him, when I walked in here, I started patting my pockets. I said, I need something for you to sign. I want your autograph. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, Scott was a fantastic uh, radio person, but just a fantastic friend, you know, and, and a great supporter of Lancer Athletics and a great uh, representative and um, just fan of Lancer Athletics and the things that he did for our athletic department, the things he's done for our women's basketball team and program is just, you know, kind of immeasurable. So uh, we, we certainly thanked him for everything he did and we miss him, but I, I know he's out there kicking butt in cribbage and playing a lot of golf courses. I think he told me he's played in 24 states since July or something like that. So it was really great to see him again and, and talked a little cribbage strategy and, and talked about his next tournaments coming up too. He definitely seems pretty happy. Now, I know you yeah. like cribbage as well. And Scott currently ranked the number one cribbage player in the world. 
Have you played him? I, I have a couple times. I think he you was nice and, and let me beat him one time. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, that's awesome. Actually, you know, I didn't play cribbage. My family is a big pinochle uh, in, in pitch family. So, you All know, right. I, I, we played a lot of cards, but I never played cribbage actually until I was at Harrisburg when I coached one year at Harrisburg, one of my good friends there, Scott Langrock. Uh, we played a lot of cribbage there uh, kind of late in the evenings sometimes, but uh, kind of just fell in love with the game. And I play on my phone quite a bit. Um, and when Scott was here, Scott Kuster was here we had he had a league night i called it a league anyways i don't know if he called it league but the american cribbage association i think i played on two or three of those over at the vfw and i played scott a couple times too so a fantastic game that's what i do on bus rides usually if i can't sleep is pull out my phone and play some cribbage and it's just a a really neat game especially kind of with you can play with a different number of people you can play head to head you can play with three you can play with partners you can play in a lot of different ways sounds like a lot of fun all right i want to talk about now coming back from the holiday season Uh, are you going to run run some of the holiday food out of your out of your women <laughs> yeah that's the plan tonight you know uh, hopefully everybody can get back kind of flights all across the nation and weather all across the nation is a little bit goofy right now but hopefully everybody can get back here and healthy and yeah you know tonight we'll kind of do some up and down stuff some shooting drills and some running and go back through some of our sets and some of our plays and stuff to remind them of those and you know pretty quickly it's right back to gpac play so december 30th we got dakota wesleyan coming to town uh, then i don't even know dort's the next one on the first i don't know if that's home or away i think it's at home um you know so hopefully we can kind of you know i thought we played well in arizona got some momentum going there and you know hopefully we can kind of keep that rolling into the new year and just get you know i told our kids not that there's nothing to do now but yeah they have less academic responsibilities from now until the middle of january this is a time uh, where you can get a lot better as an individual and where we can get a lot better as a team thank you very much for joining me today absolutely thank you tell it's a lot of fun to have you this is the lancer locker on kynt we spoke to both scott kustra and coach limgen on this show, we're going to be talking to Coach Othier here in just a couple of minutes. I wasn't worried about getting sick from vaping until my friend started having trouble breathing. I noticed I was getting winded too. We quit together. Now, we both feel healthier. Seems like everyone's vaping. But when my little brother started, not good. I knew it was time to quit. Having a quit line coach really helped. Use a quit line coach and you are two times more likely to stay quit. There's no better way to quit. Make your quit stick. Call 1-866-SD-QUITS now. You're going to love your quit. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-body draft root beer available. Find it in 12-packs and single-serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol-free and contains no caffeine, making it the beverage of choice any time of the day for anyone in the family. What he's saying is, if you adopt me, I'll be a great companion to you. What she's saying is, if you adopt me, I will be a quiet, trusted friend. The Heartland Humane Society has dogs and cats ready for adoption. Every animal available for adoption is vaccinated, spayed or neutered, microchipped and dewormed, saving you $200 or more in vet care. See available pets at heartlandhumanesociety.net or stop at 3400 East Highway 50, Yankton. There are so many ways to make memories at the Pizza Ranch Buffet. This is Annie at Yankton Pizza Ranch. And whether you're getting your favorite pizza with a Buffet Your Way request or celebrating by digging into the country's best chicken, make buffet memories with your favorite people and your favorite food on the buffet at Yankton Pizza Ranch. It's where life tastes better. Surround them up and head her down to Pizza Ranch. Whoa, that's good. Are you looking for the next great career opportunity? Then make it Sherco. A staple of the Yankton community for nearly 30 years, Sherco offers career opportunities in engineering, sales, marketing, accounting, tarp and metal fabrication, shipping, and more. Enjoy a year-round climate-controlled facility, company matching 401k options, affordable health, dental, and vision care, paid time off, and 10 paid holidays. Make Sherco your next great opportunity. Learn more at sherco.com backslash careers. 
What's special about Slumberland is ours is a free service. They get to come into our store. It helps the customer understand how the space is going to work so that they don't feel nervous about their purchase. If you live locally, you can set up an appointment with one of our sales representatives where we can come into your home and help you understand if you want to go shopping in your own home and bring some different pieces in to help them work with maybe the new piece you're looking for. Free interior design service at Yankton Slumberland located at 2401 Broadway Avenue. Avenue. What's the advantage of working with a licensed real estate agent? I'm Deb Spack with Vision Real Estate, and when you work with me, you not only get my years of experience, but also knowledge of the market, negotiating skills, and relief in knowing that you have a professional in your corner. Call me today at 664-5555. Illness and injuries don't always happen Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. At the Yankton Medical Clinic, help is available when you need it with their convenient care clinic. Open weeknights 5 to 8, Saturday noon to 3, and Sunday noon to 5. You will be seen on a first-come, first-served basis with no appointment necessary and can rely on the physicians to get you out the door and on your road to recovery. When you or your loved ones need care, no matter the time or day, count on Yankton Medical Clinic. So much care, so close to home. Back in the Lancer locker, now joined by the head coach of the men's basketball program here at Mount Marty University, Coach Colin Othier. How are you doing today, Coach Othier? I'm a little cold. Uh, it, it is not very nice outside, but at least we're not six inches of snow or put the foot of snow for the holiday break, so our travel is a lot easier. So while I am freezing, I am also looking at the uh, things on the bright side. It's a bit cold today, a bit windy today, honestly, and you are on a bus today. That's I'm actually calling you for the first time. We're doing it over the phone this season, <laughs> and you are on yeah. a bus. Tell me about this trip you guys are taking. Yeah, we, uh, we're we blessed with the opportunity to get a chance to play, uh, play Drake um, in Des Moines, and I wanted to uh, give our players a, a really, really good basketball experience. That was a promise that I made to them when I took the job to come here, and so I want to treat it as as much of a Division One opportunity as we can, and so we got a chance to practice this morning. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna bust there. Um, we're gonna get in today. We're gonna go shoot at uh, shoot at their gym tonight. Uh, do a shoot around, do some film, whatnot. We'll get something to eat, and we'll uh, get up to, tomorrow morning and do watch some more film, do our shoot around as as, uh, as game like as we possibly can for for a great opportunity. So um, blessed to have it, and a, a tough time a little bit of the shortened holiday break. Um, but but very fortunate to have the opportunity to play Drake and appreciate the coach of Reed for allowing us to do this. And obviously a very fun experience. Drake, a very good basketball program, Division One NCAA out of the Missouri Valley, and obviously they're very good. They've been very good for a couple of years now. What does this do for a team to be able to go on the road, have an overnight trip, and play a quality team? Yeah, it's a, it's a great experience that not everybody has. Um, and, and that's one thing we talk to our guys, but not taking this for granted, not taking this opportunity. I mean, to get a chance to play on ESPN Plus uh, tomorrow. And there, there's not everybody that has a chance of, of being able to do that. So I don't want our guys to take it for granted. And they haven't, and they, and they won't for sure. But um, it, it's an opportunity for us to, to spend some time together as a team, uh, to have a good experience, and to be able to continue to get better at things. Obviously, Drake is very, very talented. Um, you know, the coach, uh, Coach Green's son, Tucker, is there. He's a top 150 player in the country, but. I made your offers from everywhere and wanted to play for his dad, and, and, and rightfully so. Um, and so it's just a, a good opportunity for us to be able to get out there, work on a couple of things in our own. Um, and at the end of the day, why, you know, I talk to our guys, why, why not us? Why, why can't we go in there and win on the road? You know, that happens every single year of NAIA, Division Two, and Division Three teams beating Division Ones, And I want our guys going with that mentality and going in that we can beat them. We need to play well. Uh, we need to be tough. We need to be sound with that basketball. We need to make shots. We need to guard. But we're capable of doing those things. And we have yet to put together a complete game. And so what better time than doing that uh, than an opportunity to do it tomorrow against Drake? Absolutely. And obviously coming off the holiday break as well. I want to talk to you about that. The team just coming off holiday, obviously you probably ran some of that turkey out of them already. And now you're going to play a full basketball game. Tell me about this uh, holiday break for the Lancers. Yeah, we had a couple practices after our game against Waldorf, which was good. We needed to be able to get in the gym and, and work on a couple of things. And then uh, let our guys go after our practice on Sunday morning um, and let them spend some time with the family. And that was really, really important for them to be able to get away and, and do that. Uh, we were able to spend some time together as a team on Saturday night before they all took off, uh, which was good. Um, and then got them back. We practiced yesterday uh, late afternoon. Um, and, and definitely, you know, there's, there's a little bit of rust, but you can tell our guys didn't, they didn't take the whole break off. I mean, they got in the gym, they, they, they had their conditioning, um, their, their form. I mean, you could tell guys really kind of were invested and committed to, to this team while on break. And, 
and that was that was good to see. Um, obviously, you're going to have some natural rust here and there, and so uh, while it was some some condition and playing playing our way back into shape. A lot of it was just focused on us and just mentally getting back prepared for our stuff and how we need to do things in our communication and, and playing together as a team. Um, and so we were able to do that yesterday and practice this morning before getting on the road here. Let's talk about this uh, or this holiday season for you and your family, Coach. I want to know how you celebrated the holiday season. Yeah, it was uh, it, it was it was fun. I was got a chance to really spend some time with with my family, uh, my older brother, his wife, um, our, our nieces, my. My younger brother's wife and her daughter joined us for Christmas, and that was that was awesome. Absolutely enjoyed uh, spending some time and running around with Sophia and, and giving Georgia a break during a during a hard holiday season for our entire family. Um, what, what was good to do, and, and really really enjoyed it, um, and, and getting away a little bit. And then uh, obviously spent time with my wife's family on Christmas Day, uh, and that was a lot of food and a lot of fun. Um, I, I do, you know, we obviously were expecting a baby at the end of March and that baby got a lot of Christmas gifts already. So, um, <laughs> that, that part was good and it kind of just gets you excited for, uh, for the birth of our baby girl, um, knowing that we have some things, uh, ready and prepared for. I know you're excited because I'm excited for you. <laughs> this, <I'm, laughs> It'll, it's going to be, it, it's, you know, the first one's always, always the best one and, and we're just, we're, we're grateful for it and obviously the opportunity to, uh, to be parents. Uh, is great, and you know she's she's kicking and moving around and and feisty and stubborn and and spends up uh, late night hours like I do. So I'm feeling she'll be up watching a uh, game film with me at night while mom mom goes to bed early because she's up till midnight pretty much every night kicking and moving around in there. So um, we we are we are excited. We're we're, we're blessed. Everything's been going great so far. Uh, to, to have hopefully a healthy, healthy baby girl when the time comes. Coach, thank you very much for taking the time to call in and talk to me today on the Lancer Locker. Good luck against Drake tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Hope everyone had a great holiday break. This has been the Lancer Locker on KYNT. Big thank you to all of my guests today. We got the great Scott Kustra back in the studio today, which is always fun. I love that man. I love getting to talk to him whenever I can, and it was fun to get him inside. He taught me a lot as a broadcaster, and very happy to hear he is doing well. Coach Schlimgen. Talk to him about the women's basketball program, as we always do, and Coach Othier with their upcoming game tomorrow against Drake University. We've got a whole lot of Lancer sports on the way. This weekend, they're going to be playing a doubleheader versus Dort, and of course, at home, the women's basketball team will be playing Dakota Wesleyan on Thursday evening. All of that coverage will be right here on KYNT and KYN TV. Thank you for listening to the Lancer Locker. We'll see you next time.